Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send message on Google Chat from Google Sheets. So I am an owner of a business and I am currently hiring new employees in my company. So here my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to add the details of the new hired employees in my Google Sheets, automatically on my Google Chat space that I've created, a message of that new hired employee should be forwarded. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Google Sheets and Google Chat with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two concepts that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Google Sheets and my action application is going to be Google Chat. So if you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to send message on Google Chat from Google Sheets. So I am an owner of a business and I am recently hiring new employees in my company. So my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to add the details of my new hired employees in my Google Sheet automatically with the help of this details a message should be forwarded in my Google chat regarding the announcement of my new hired employee for that what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Google chat and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect so on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect after browsing this website we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account but if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month so as I'm an existing user I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account after signing in, you can see the All Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, you click on this button right over here that says Create Workflow. A new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Send Message on Google Chat from Google Sheets. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. And next it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down arrow so these are the folders from which i'm going to select google chat automation as the folder i want to save this workflow in after that we're going to click on create in order to create a workflow a workflow is created in the name of send message on Google chat from Google Sheets and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens an action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly what we're going to do is we're going to set up our trigger step by clicking on this arrow and for the trigger application what we are going to do is we are going to select it as Google Sheets. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Google Sheets. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new or updated spreadsheet row. I have selected my trigger application as Google Sheets and the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row because I have created a spreadsheet with the help of Google Sheets in the name of new employees details. And my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add in the details of a new hired employee in this spreadsheet right over here, automatically public edit should capture the response. Okay. So that is why we selected our trigger application as Google Sheets and the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay. Next over here, you can see public edit has provided us with a webbook URL. With the help of this unique webbook URL, we're going to connect. Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this URL from here. As soon as you're going to copy the URL, the steps are given here below in order to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. Firstly, we're going to open the spreadsheet that I've created. We're going to connect the spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. For that, click on Extensions. After clicking on Extension, right over here, click on Add-ons and then on Get Add-ons. Then a new window is going to appear on which on the search bar, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. So we're going to select Pabli Connect Webbooks. Over here it says Pabli Connect Webbooks, we're going to select it. As you can see that I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, so I'm going to move forward. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, please do install it so that you can connect Pabli Connect with the spreadsheet, okay? So as I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, I'm going to click on Extensions again and then on Pabli Connect Webbooks, as you can see right over here. Over here it says Initial Setup, we're going to click on it. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a webbook URL in the trigger column. For the webbook URL, we're going to paste the webbook URL that Public Connect has provided us. And for the trigger column over here it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added. So that whenever a new data is going to be added in this trigger column, that is the final column right over here, that is column E, automatically Google Sheets is going to send the data to Public Connect. Okay, so for the trigger column over here, I'm going to write it as column E. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on Submit. As soon as you're going to click on Summit over here, it says Setup Configurated successfully. So as we have done the setup of the webbook, what we're going to do is the steps which I'm going to tell you are very important. So please do not forget to follow them. Click on Extensions again and then on Public Connect Webbooks. Over here, it says Send on Event. We're going to click on it. Over here, it is saying Booking. 
as the loading is completed i'm going to click on extensions again and public in it web books you can see a stick mark is in front on send on event that means whenever a new data is going to be captured into a spreadsheet automatically the data is going to be forwarded to public connect that is why it is very important to click on send on event okay so if i'm going to take you back to the workflow i've created over here it is saying waiting for webhook response so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the dummy details in the spreadsheet of a hi new hired employee and we're going to check whether public connect captures the response of this data or not so firstly it is asking for the first name so for the first name over here i'm going to write it as demo for the last name over here i'm going to write it as user for the email over here, I'm going to write it as demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. For the phone number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. And for the employee's position right over here, I'm going to write it as marketing head. So this is the employee position right over here and all the other details, first name, last name, email, phone number and the marketing head. So as we have filled in all the details, I'm going to open the workflow that we have created and I'm going to check whether public Connect has captured the response of the data that we have added into our spreadsheet or not. For that, I'm going to open my workflow. I'm going to scroll down. And yes, as you can see, a response is captured. If I'm going to tally the response for the first name as demo, last name as user, employee's position as marketing head, email as demo user at the rate public use.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number. So this means that we successfully set up our trigger and we have added Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step and our objective is that as soon as I'm going to add the details in my Google Sheets, automatically a message should be forwarded in my Google chat. So what we are going to do is we are going to add our action step and for the action application, we are going to select it as Google chat. So I'm going to select my action application as Google Chat Hangout. And for the action event over here, I'm going to select it as create message. We are going to select that action event as create message because we want to send a message on our Google chat space that we have created. So I'm going to click on connect in order to connect Google chat with public connect. As soon as you're going to click on connect over here, it is asking for the chat web book URL. Chat web book URL is going to help us to connect Google chat space that we have created with public connect. For that, we have to click on learn more right over here to learn how to connect and have the access of the chat web book URL. As soon as you're going to click on connect, a new window is going to appear over here. The steps are given in below in order to have the access of the chat web book url okay so for that what we're going to do is we're going to open the space that we have created in our google chat account so as you can see this is the space that i've created in my google chat account in the name of important announcements so this is the space that i've created with the help of google chat and we're going to connect this space with public connect for that click on this arrow right over here there are multiple options from which we're going to select space settings as soon as you're going to click on space settings over here from this option we have to click on apps and integrations and then on web books over here you can see web books are provided we're going to click on add web books right over here it is asking for the webhook name the name of the bot that is going to send the message so over here i'm going to write the name as test and then for the avatar url we are going to select the avatar url that we have received in our help desk so i'm going to copy this avatar url from here and i'm going to paste the avatar url right over here okay after that i'm going to click on save as you can see a webhook is added over here in the space that we have created so i'm going to copy this link from here and i'm going to paste this link right over here so this link right over here is the chat webhook url okay so we have successfully added the chat webhook url right over here okay next over here it is asking for the message the message that you want to send to our team on our space that we have created with the help of google chat okay so for the message over here i'm going to write it as so as you can see this is the message that i want to send to my space that i've created in my google chat to my team over here it says welcome our new team member hi team i'm excited to announce that we have a new addition to our team please join us welcoming next to welcoming i want the name of my new hired employee so for the name of our new hired employee what we're going to do is map the data map means inserting data from the previous step so we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this automation workflow how we're going to do that as soon as we're going to click on this field over here it says google sheets newer updated spreadsheet so i'm going to click on this arrow this was the previous step of this automation process and after click on this arrow you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step as we want the name of our employee i'm going to map the first name of my employee right over here space the last name so as i map the data right over here what happens is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over here in place of this map data is going to be updated after the name demo user who has joined us as for the as over here it is asking for the position of the employee i'm going to map the data of the position of the employee over here as marketing head we are thrilled to have them on board and are looking forward to their contributions to our team let us all make sure to extend a warm welcome and offer any support they may need as they settle in after that over here it is asking for a name over here as well so i'm going to map the data of the name first name space the last name demo user feel free to reach out to any of us if you have questions or any assistance once again welcome aboard best regards team fintrex this is the name of my organization fintrex right over here okay so this is the message that i want to send on my space that i've created in my google chat account okay so after the message over here what we are going to do is we're going to click on save and send test request 
as you can see that a response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response so now i'm going to open my space that i've created in my google chat account and i'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded on my google chat or not for that i'm going to open my space that i've created in my google chat account and yes as you can see right over here a new message is forwarded on my google chat account space that i've created over here. it says welcome to our new team member hi team and this is the message right over here with the name of my new hired employee as demo user and the position as marketing head over here the name as demo user again so this piece that we successfully created an automation between google sheets and google chat with the help of pabli connect but now for all of you guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to add new details of my new hired employees in my google sheets that i've created and i'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded into the space that i've created in my google chat account or not for that i'm going to open my google sheets that i've created so as you can see this is the spreadsheet that i've created with the help of google sheets and we are going to fill in the details of our new hired employees in this spreadsheet for the first name last name email phone number and employees position so i'm going to fill in all the details as you can see that i filled in all the details for the first name as test last name as account email as test account at the rate pabritudes.com for the phone number dummy mobile number and for the employees position as customer success associate so as i filled in all the details i'm going to open a space that i've created in my google chat and i'm going to check whether a new announcement regarding new hired employee with the details of the new hired employee is forwarded in my space or not for that i'm going to open a space that i've created and yes as you can see right over here a new message is forwarded in my space that i've created over here it says welcome to my new team member it says over here for the name of my employee as test account for the position as customer success associate and the name over here again as test account so this means that we successfully created an automation between google sheets and google chat with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i am recently hiring new employees in my company so my objective is that that as soon as i'm going to add in the details of my new hired employees in my google sheets automatically with the help of the details in my google sheets a message should be forwarded in my space that i've created in my google charts regarding the announcement of my new hired employee for that what we have done is we have created an automation between google sheets and google chart with the help of pabli connect so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of pabli connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pabli connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching